guys, I'm coming to you from Power by the Hour. And I uh, wanted to show you guys something today that it's pretty cool. You don't really see this come along often where a new car is introduced and shortly thereafter you can start getting or come across some parts pretty quickly. So what I'm gonna show you today is three different transmissions. I'm gonna show you the difference between all three when it comes to size, width, height, and weight. Now the three transmissions are the following. It's an R80, an MT82 from 18 and up, so a Gen 3 MT82 and Gen 3 GT500 transmission. That's right. There are two, sorry, not Gen 3 GT500 transmissions. What is it called? 2020 GT500 transmission. 2020 DCT GT500 transmission. Now, real quick, right off the bat, it is big. That is a 10 R80. That's a DCT, and it is noticeably heavier than the 10 R80. But let's get up and close and show you what's going on with these guys. Okay, so let's do some measuring here. So I got a little race scale here. Got it zeroed out, pretty accurate. I already weighed my dick and it was 80 pounds, so very accurate. <laughs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is test out the, uh, actually measure the total length of the GT500 DCT. So looking straight down, it's about, I wanna say 33 inches or so, maybe 31 and three quarter. So 31, I'm oh, sorry, 32 and three quarter or 33 inches depending on how you look at it. So that's the DCT length. And now measuring that from the edge of the bell housing. So let's do the 10R80. This is the 10R80. It's noticeably shorter. Look at that. About, let's say, 27 and a quarter by the time it's all said and done. So a good almost five inches longer. So the DCT is about five inches longer than a 10R80. Now let's measure a 2018 MT82. Let's get it right. There you go. And it's about the same length of a 10 or 80, 26, all right, six and seven eighths, it's called 27. So this guy and this guy measure about the same. This guy is about five inches longer than both. Look at what the input shaft looks like on the MT82. Input shaft, 10 or 80. Input shaft. DCT. Kind of weird to see something that you'd expect to see like a, a torque converter or something, but I'm telling you, it's a funky looking trans, but it is beefy, super short, stubby, badass looking uh, roller bearing on this end. Spins super freely, spins as if a manual would. Now, you cannot manually select the gears, obviously, like on a MT82. An MT82, if you had something on the top, you can go in and out with this guy and select the gears, left, right, clickety-clack, make all the noises. A 10R80, it'll be, you know, park. Actually, that would be all the way down. So that would be sport. So it'd be sport, drive, neutral, park. Just like that. This guy, I think you can manipulate this guy, but I believe this is the parking brake, uh, like an emergency parking brake. Jake told me that these cars have an emergency parking brake if for whatever reason on the gear selector on GT500s or similar to the Explorer ST, if for whatever reason you cannot put it in park and the battery goes dead per se, somewhere in the, um, somewhere in the front panel by where your USB port is, is a cable on GT500s with DCTs, and you're supposedly able to pull on that and engage the park mechanism of the DCT Tremec. Here are your connections for everything, apparently, like everything. Okay, in case you need to run some numbers, there you go. In case you guys are doubting these are DCTs, I can't imagine why you doubt these are DCTs. So now, now without cutting, I'm going to place each transmission on the scale and weigh it just so that you know there's no manipulation. So let me see if I can set this thing up somewhere. Let's set it up here real quick and I'll do one by one. First up is the MT82. So 
on there. What do you guys think it weighs? What do you guys think an MT-82 weighs? Huh? Yeah, you saw me pick it up kind of easily. I want to make sure it's not, it's not hitting anywhere, causing the, the weight to be off. Well, it's pretty legit. MT-82 weighs 133 pounds. All right, without cutting, 10 R80 time. Put you back here. Okay. 133 for the MT82. Now the 10R80. I'll let you know right off the bat if it's noticeably heavier. Oh yeah. <laughs> there we go. Wow. Holy shit. And this is empty, it doesn't have any fluids in it. Oh, that was heavy, dude. 177 pounds for the 10R, 80, without fluids in it. No converter. So, converter, shit, let me see if I can find a 6R80 converter and give you a roundabout weight. So 177 for the 10R80. Is there any converters lying around? <sighs> yeah, 6R80 is like a motherfucker. I might weigh a 6R82 just to give you the complete deal. Eh, I don't see any converters. All right, the DCT is very heavy. Very heavy, so without cutting, I'll try to do it again and not kill my back. No gym day today, no way. Whew. All right, 177, so 132, 177. It is heavy, so what I do is I put my elbow here and support the weight of that with my leg more than my back. Oh, yeah. Bring this guy closer to the trans. Make sure it's zeroed out. Yep. Uh, flat surface. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna just put it on, the back it in. Wow, so I think, I think this is heavier than the 10R. Holy <laughs> Wow. How much do you guys think it weighs? How much do you think a DCT over a 10R80, which is 177 pounds empty, Wait, remember, none of these have fluids. You can't ship stuff with fluids. Huh? 180, 190? Nope. 215 pounds. <laughs> so, manual for manual, there's like a 70 pound weight difference between the MT82 and the DCT. So that is something to consider when, if and when that swap becomes available. Obviously it's here so that they can develop a swap. But that's something you're gonna have to decide on your own. Do I want an MT82? Look, once these guys get built, the 18 and up MT82s are freaking stout. In my opinion, all they need is badass shift forks. That's why this trans is here, to get some badass shift forks done. 10R80, proven, stout. You know, it's getting, the, the aftermarket is catching up to the 10R80, so that sucker weighs yeah, what, 170 from 130, so about 40 pounds, 50 pounds more. This guy. The new, latest and greatest DCT transmission from Tremec. And that sucker weighs in at a hefty, hefty 215 pounds. Okay, let me see if I can grab a 6R80 and weigh that sucker to give you a complete comparison of all the swap transmissions that are available out there for you guys. Okay, and because I wasn't gonna hook that guy all the way over there, I brought the weights over the weights or the scale. Jesus, I'm tired. Over to it. See it's zeroed out. I'm gonna choose one that does not have a converter in it. See if I can film it quick. Bring it on the scale so you guys know that there's no trickery. Let's set this phone up. Alright. Now I'll see how it feels. Okay, this is gonna be lighter than the 10R, I think. Probably gonna weigh the same as a MT82. Actually, probably a little heavier than the MT82. I'm guessing 150. Okay, that's about right. Makes sense. Let's grab it. 
Alright. 165. So 10R80 heavier by 10 pounds. MT82, the lightest of all three. About 130, I think. This guy's 160 and the DCT weighing at over 200 pounds. So manual is gonna be the lightest. Conventional manual. 6R80, 10 pounds lighter than 10R80, negligible in my opinion. DCT, heavy as fuck. Before I finish the video, I caught myself during the editing process. Um, a lot of you guys are gonna see a converter that was in another 6R80. I could not unbolt that converter from the bracketry. So what I did do is ask Jake, what does a converter weigh with fluids? He says, give or take 25 to 30 pounds. So that makes sense. So that doesn't make the DCT that much heavier than a loaded 10R. Now when fluids are in it, that might change, but dry, let's say a converter is 25 to 30 pounds heavier than, or heavy, so that means a 6R and a 10R probably weigh about as much as a DCT, maybe 10 to 15 pounds lighter. I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that because in the editing process, I caught myself. I know you're gonna see a lot of converters bolted onto transmissions. I could not remove them because they're bolted in with a bracket, but the DCT, the 10R and the 6R are about the same weight, but the length, the DCT is longer by at least five inches. So consider that if and when time comes to have a swap solution for that transmission in anything, say a Fox body, an old F100, whatever, you decide to swap it onto. Just wanted to make sure I put that out there because you guys love to correct a motherfucker in the comments. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll talk to you later.